looking for a Monster Hunter figure? Get our top 5 recommendations. A game series that everyone has been raving about in recent years is the Monster Hunter franchise. As the name states, players take on the role of an individual searching for a nefarious creature to take down. Along the way, players train their skill sets on the weapons of choice as well as game recognition as the best in the land. This game's impressive graphics allows gamers to view their quarries in remarkable detail, revealing the painstaking details and the designs used. Because of the game's popularity, Otaku USA knows that you're allowed to get your hands on some amazing figures for your collection. This is why our team has done something hunting on their own to bring you our recommendations for the best hunter, Monster Hunter figure. Enjoy! Number 5. Show of your duds. Want to show off a powerful armor set? Then a the number 5 is the pick for you. We have, have a female warrior dressed up and a set of armor resembling a Rattalos standing 4 feet tall this chibi fighter is ready to pack a punch as she takes out her prey she's beauty she's a grapes she's ready to bash in a monster space the pros is maybe in this form the armor still looks pretty cool this might be they might be of the iconic monsters we easily seen and the details of this piece she comes with two face plates to show her in a neutral state or in a powerful rage. For protection, she comes with her trusty sword, Renwing, along with her Hunter's Craving Knife. She has a number of points of artic articulation that you ex expect for another Netherite figurine, allowing you to pose her to enact your best skill moments at the time of writing she's in stock, so get her what you can. The con says this one is an Android, meaning that she is of a chibi appearance. If you want a more realistic figure, she's not the one for you, but the armor is cool. Why do you wish without a coloring match the creature in creation a bit better? The Rattalos is known for its reds and blacks. The coloring feels a bit off and red looks more like a shade of brown or the black appears more navy blue. She's still cute but for those who are looking for accuracy, this little lady could use a few tweaks to her wardrobe. Powerhouse Appearing at number 4 is a powerful lady showing off what she's able to do. Dress up in armor that pays tribute to the mighty Sinogri. This warrior is ready to take on monsters and other enemies left and right without battling an eye to have this to have this full powerhouse on yourself. It is to be able to rest easy that you and your figurines are protected from anything. The pros is you have two versions to choose from here. You have the normal version and the DX version, which comes with a more part for ultimate fun. With the normal version, you get two face plays, the also burst, Thunder Hammer, her carving knife, and the lightning effect piece to show off all her best moves. The XT version comes with all the along with the additional hair part as well as the absorber's surrumbling bow. As for the facial expressions, for the door hair water face, her bubble baby blues transfer into a golden hose as she smiles and triumphant glee. The outfit itself is very well sculpted and detailed. Even in chibi form, this outfit appears powerful thanks to all the extras. You're able to create your favorite kill moments with remarkable accuracy. The con says, as of the time of writing, this wire is available for pre-order with the release date of late July. If you don't mind waiting for summer, we suggest placing your pre-order quickly. We also want to remind folks that she's an Android figurine, meaning that she was meant to have a chibi appearance. For those seeking realism, you may want to reconsider. For everyone else, this is the cutie you want to have on your side. Number 3. Quite shocking. Sino Gray stands proud and tall as our number 3, another wyvern. This one is well known for his electrical attack. He stands a little over 7 tall, rolling at a within range that let them know that his area is defended by a mighty creature. The pros is this beast is a killer, and crafting him for the real world is no small feat. We see the scales in great detail all over his yellow and blue body. The fury like scrub in his body is even crafted to appear as it does in the game. His spikes are lying flat, meaning that he isn't charging up yet. His eyes are scale are things you can help but the captivated by them. They show his ferocity and intelligence. As monsters go, this is what you really want to have to guard in your domain. The con says, as at the time of writing, this beauty is available for pre-order with the release date of late March. As beautiful as opposing it is on this scope, we do wish that you show off some of his power. This one is known for electrical attacks, a similar pose that show him partially charged with lit up blue specks along his body will be an amazing way to show off his lightning potential without having an odd add the electricity ar icing from his back. Showing off an emer energy attack is very hard to do in this medium. This piece has sculpted with love. We would like a little more attention given to this power set. 
Blue Eye Elder Dragon. We're showing our respects to this Elder Dragon by placing them at number 2 on our list. This gleaming, powerful dragon is truly a sight to behold. Don't be held for too long without taking action, for this creature is extremely powerful and able to defeat you in one of many ways. Perhaps admire from a distance if you do not plan to take them down. The pros is, this piece is a work of art. To stand ready to attack as the eye you with the piercing blue eyes, standing just under 9. The design work of this model is very well done. The silver scales stand out all over this dark body. Small piercing blue eyes really stand out, giving you chills as you can easily believe that this intelligent creature can size you up and attack at any moment. The energy streams with the wings match now how they normally appear in the chain. This being stands ready to judge your intentions and react as needed. The cons is, well, the energy streams are cool, are cool. So with the wish and they appear more like energy, art and gay depictions usually show this energy as flames. The paintwork is very red, and he has a sheen to it, but it falls flat in appearing as fire, making this part partially transparent, or an ombre paint job may help fix this issue. We go from red to a dark red at the tips, instead of a bright flame color to red and dark red. This dragon is also known for changing the shape of its wings to provide different attack types, but this is a solid piece. As of the time of writing, this elegant beast is available for order, with the release date in late March. Big and Bad Taking our top spot is a pick that will surely make your collection very lively, where we have Rattalos perched atop of Rocky outcropping, ready to defend himself in his territory from any intruder. His weaver is well known as an icon in the series, making an appearance in every installment so far, standing just above 8. This fiend shows off his legend on this world. This process disguise really is a sight to behold in the game, and the designers of this piece work really hard to make sure he could hold his own in the re real world as well. The red and black marking are game accurate, and the shading hues on the scale is remarkable. The sculpting used to show out the scales is amazing, especially around the face and feet. Doing small scales like that is really difficult, but this work appears effortless. The demonic pose is perfect in its most well-known stance in the game world. It is translates remarkable into our world. He is in stock at the time of writing to add to your collection. The cons is, our biggest grip comes with a pace. He's noted for taking this stance with his tail curled in beside him, ready to steal amazing, ready to, I mean, ready to lash out with if, if needed. The pose is still amazing. We have the link to see a variation with this small detail. Also, the coloring used in his talons, like grew the rocky ground, almost blend with the rocky seven places. Either a darker place shade, using a deadly talons, or a lighter color for the rocks, would be nice to help distinguish one from the other. Despite these minor nitpicks, it's easy to see what this guy can defend his spot as our topic.